Hi, Aaron. Hi. Um, it was obviously a challenging game at Newcastle, a difficult day. Um, lots of things have been brought up since then. What's what's your reaction? Uh, we we had a week with two good performances and one bad performance. So and from there on, we carry on. I think the team is in the good direction. I think we played very good football. We scored brilliant goals against Galatasaray and against Everton. Um, so against Newcastle, we didn't play great. We knew that. We were not happy with that performance. But although we stayed in the game till the final moment, uh, with a little bit of luck, even now, uh, we had two good opportunities in the end. So we could have even still a point. So yeah, if we had um, a little bit more determination in such a moment, I think yeah, we could have taken some, something with it. But still, I think yeah, uh, we are in a good direction. We are in the ranking. Of course, we dropped, but I think we are not too far away. So yeah, we are OK. You, you've, you've mentioned previously togetherness and unity as key attributes. Do, do you believe that you have the buy-in required from the players to make this job, this club, successful? Oh, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> but um, you, you can see, uh, um, for instance, the comeback against Brentford, <laughs> the Burnley game, the Fulham game. So every time uh, the team is there, uh, showed great character, um, uh, so great determination, resilient. Um, so yeah, we are together. And you can see you can't play such great football, what we did lately, uh, if there is no unity. Eric, is, it, is, that, is that your answer? Because there's a, a number of media outlets who are not here today because the club weren't given the right of reply over suggestions that some of the players are unhappy with you, some ha are unhappy with the training. Um, how, how do you address that? Because people just don't make things up. Oh, but they should come to us first and not go around uh, in uh, our back printing articles. Uh, that's not the right thing. I think we have uh, another relationship uh, and then they can, if they sh uh, should uh, give that to us beforehand, uh, we have a, a normal and a professional discussion and debate about it. I mean, d are you at all concerned that what is being reported, what people are being told, that there is truth behind that. Clearly, there's an issue with Jaden Sancho, uh, which we're all aware of, and you've spoken about before, but are there issues with other players? I, I know what you mean about, about the, the games, but behind the scenes, are there issues? No. They're, of course, when there are always in every team uh, players who are not of less playing, they are less happy, but not not different as as normal. Uh, and such tensive fields is you need that, and uh, they have to take for it. The, they wait for the chance, and they can come. But no, there are no issues. It's quite personal. The things that have been suggested, uh, your tactics, your uh, discipline. How do you respond to that? As far as you're concerned, you won't change? Or are you open to the suggestions of players to maybe change certain areas? I listen always to my players. And I give them always the opportunities to tell. And if um, the players have a different opinion, of course I will listen. But they, they haven't told me. Or yeah, maybe one or two. Uh, but it's about, so in general, uh, so the majority, uh, they want to play like this, uh, proactive, dynamic, uh, brave. That is what they want. And uh, you can see the players are behind it because of the performances against Everton, Galatasaray. And uh, we are really improving. Uh, as you see that goal, do you think that you can make a goal like we did against Everton? Uh, if the players didn't embrace it. What do you think? Is it things like that have happened today give a sense of, I don't know, a disorder around the club? Is that fair? Is that a fair representation of this club? 
so, but not in the dressing room. And I don't know what you were. Uh, uh, of course, there are a lot of uh, rumors about uh, strategic review, uh, but w it's not that we get distracted from it. Uh, we are uh, on the journey, on the route. Uh, we know we are still in transition, but we are in the wrong, or we are in the right direction. And you see it uh, like how we construct a team, how we develop the team, how the team is progressing, how, in, how young players coming in. Uh, and you see the potential, how they can contribute uh, to very successful Manchester United for the future. Thank you. Eric, um, you talked about the performance against Galatasaray and um, not so much against Newcastle. The lack of effort, I think, has been, been criticised quite a lot by certain individuals. Um, I'm sure that's something that you don't ask your players to do before they take to the field. Where was that lack of effort? What it, where did it come from? Because I think we could all see that certain individuals weren't tracking back, they weren't helping out their full-backs in other positions. And surely that's something that you're not saying to your players. But, so, we are not robots. And if you play three games in six days, tough games, and yeah, by the end, uh, fatigue uh, can be an issue, can never be an excuse, but, uh, uh, but it's there. And against Calatasaray, against Everton, we played very good. Yeah, against <laughs> Newcastle, we were not happy with our performance. And uh, we are the first to say, and the players are the first, that they are so uh, self-critical that they admit this. So, yeah, we know. And we have to do better than this. Uh, last question in this section, Richard. Hi, Eric. Um, obviously, Marcus Rashford has received lots of um, negative attention after the Newcastle game. Um, how is he feeling? Yeah. How is he feeling? Everyone is disappointed. If you have uh, uh, the result in Galatasaray and then the performance and the result in Newcastle. But yeah, but if you go to Newcastle. Uh, we are not the only team who is losing there. Eh? I think, I think every uh, they had a home record. They win all the games apart from Liverpool, where they were leading, and the opponent was downsized to ten, and then they t get a turnaround. Apart from that, everyone is losing there. And um, but it doesn't say we want to win there. And we did everything that was in our power, but yeah, definitely our performance wasn't good enough.